Good morning! So I typically wake up around 7 to 7.30 to start getting ready for my day. I work from home and my work starts at 8 a.m. So I like to just go freshen up, be able to get dressed and get ready. Even if it's just in comfy clothes, it just helps me and my mindset to be ready for the day if I'm actually getting ready for the day, if that makes sense. Hey, so good morning, y'all. Welcome. I have not done like a vlog style video in forever. And I just wanted to take you all through my day with me because I remember when I first started like moving to Dallas, I was like, I'm gonna document my seminary journey because there's really nothing like that out there on YouTube right now. And I just felt led to do it. And then I stopped. <laughs> but I wanna pick back up. I want you all to experience seminary with me, ask any questions that you may have and just see it like from a real point of view. So we're gonna start with today. Um, a lot has changed since those old videos when I very first moved here. I am married, I am pregnant, um, I work from home, that's the difference. I used to work at the hospital as a nurse, now I work from home. And I'm actually about to get my work day started right now. And so that's just how my day really starts. Get up, get ready, make breakfast, um, spend some time with the Lord in the morning, tell my husband goodbye, and I work. And then we do school work. And so my schedule is jam packed, but y'all will see, I'm gonna let you all in on how I manage it all because it can seem like, oh, there's no way to work through this program. But I mean, your bills don't stop just because the Lord calls you to seminary. So yeah, you will see me balancing and juggling all the things. So let's get the day started because it is almost eight o'clock and that is when I have to actually be on the computer and doing some work. My husband typically makes breakfast on the weekends, but I will make it throughout the week. So I make breakfast and then I head into work to get my day started. Hey y'all, so I just went on break at my job and typically on my breaks, I like to get up and walk around. So that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna head out before it becomes scorching and unbearable and we can't even go outside because it's Texas and these summers are insane. Like I have never experienced triple digits every single day anywhere else. So yeah, let's head out before it feels like a blow dryer or a sauna or whatever is in my face and I can't go outside and walk. So I'm just gonna grab some water and as you see, I changed my shirt because a sweatshirt just would not work for this weather. So let's head out for a little bit of walking and then we'll come back in and finish out the day. I took the steps because it is really important to get your steps in, especially if you're pregnant or if you work from home. So double working against me, but it was actually beautiful this day. So I'm glad that I got out because it has been hot y'all. So I went and walked over to our mail room I was just like, may as well, you know, I have a little bit of time. I had like 30 minutes left after I ate. And a package came. So I was like, let me go grab this package, y'all. Oh my goodness. This woman messaged me on Instagram. And I think that she saw my husband and I on the Dear Future Wifey podcast. Like after looking at her page, I think that that's how she found us. But yeah, like I had never spoken to her before. Super genuine, like just sweet woman. And I've never met her. And she was literally just like, can you send me you and your husband's registry for the baby? And she got our little camera system for the nursery. And oh my gosh, I'm such a type A person. I was like, really, really like, please let us get this. Like I want to see my baby when somebody's babysitting if that even happens because knowing me <laughs> lord we'll see but when someone's babysitting and then when we move our baby from our bedroom into their nursery i was like i want a camera so oh my gosh girl talk about the goodness of others and people just loving on others like 
this was so sweet and honestly just like such a blessing such 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 a blessing like what happens when you're involved in the kingdom and people are just like loving and kind oh to the shepherds enjoy your gift thank you for being a gift to the world of what god's love looks like <laughs> i'm so pregnant for this oh my gosh it's so sweet so sweet thank you girl you know who you are i won't say your name on social media but girl thank you all right y'all so before I went back to work, I wanted to show you all my books and what I'm actually reading this semester. Talk to you about the classes that I'm taking because then that will make sense for the rest of the vlog. But anyways, can we just give a kudos because we got bookshelf space for me and my husband. We got all this furniture in here. We got a full desk that we do work at. If y'all remember one of my very first vlogs, I think I was like sitting on the floor because I had just moved to Texas and no furniture had come yet. And I was like sitting on the floor with my iPad after my first day of school trying to get things done. And I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all have seen us come a long way. He's <laughs> specifically me because he wasn't even in the picture yet. So it's just so cool. I'm like, oh my gosh, looking back thinking about that. But anywho, so the way that I organize my books is kind of insane. Like I do have a theme going on here, but for the semester, I pretty much just put um, everything that I am learning like right here in this section. And then the books that I'm currently reading. So this actually, all of these books, I think this book right here um, is for one of my current classes. And then the rest of these books were for, no, this one is too. Yeah this design book so i'm taking a uh, course in like teaching and media ministries so you're designing media as well as learning about education and then this one is for the class and then i have another one in the bedroom so yeah pretty much this semester which is the summer i decided to take summer classes because i am insane every single year i'm like i'm gonna actually take the summer off and then i don't <laughs> but i took two classes over the summer mainly because i was like well i'm pregnant so i'm not really gonna be able to go hard in the fall and so i was like just in case i can't take any classes at all in the fall I want to make sure that I go over the summer. So I'm taking eschatology, which is so bomb, so mind blowing. Oh my goodness. Like we got to talk about that <laughs> because I remember like people scaring me out of reading the book of Revelation because they were like, it's scary. And then just not being able to understand the prophets. And so not being able to put all that stuff together, but in actuality, like having my professor as a guide I'm like wow I see this stuff so differently now like I'm so hopeful like it's all about hope it's not about scariness and death and being afraid it's about the hope for Christians the hope for eternal life the hope for a new heavens and a new earth but y'all gonna get me going okay so I'm taking eschatology and then I'm also taking the um teaching and media ministries class which is great for me because the whole reason why I came to seminary in the first place was because I have a passion for biblical literacy. Like I remember growing up and y'all have seen my testimony videos, but growing up and being a part of the church, but not fully understanding everything. And when I started studying the word and reading it for myself and not just depending on the Sunday sermon or like those read the Bible in a one year app type of things that... I feel like I was just speeding through to speed through. Like when I finally started to understand, it totally changed my faith. And that's what gave me this drive to help other people to understand. That's why I started those virtual Bible studies. That's why I started YouTube. Because I was like, I want these women out here to understand the word of God. Because it is life changing when you understand it. And it's different when you show up to a sermon and you're like, yeah, I just read that. I know exactly what you're talking about because you could be talking about something that the bible ain't talking about so that's a good thing <laughs> or it's just it's more relatable and more applicable 
and just easier for you to retain when you know the book already and you know it for yourself you don't gotta depend on nobody to break it down for you and so I'm like I want to teach the word like that is why I'm going to seminary so um, I don't know if I've even mentioned this before, but my degree is a Master's of Arts in Christian Education. So that's what we're doing here. Um, my husband is getting his Master's in Theology. So, yeah, he is busy, busy, busy. That's why he's gone right now, actually. He's like in an all-day class right now. So, yep. So that's what we're doing. That's what our goal is. That's what we're aiming for. And, girl... We are not that far off. Like literally after next semester, I have like one elective to take and an internship to do. And that's it. I don't know how I'm going to do the internship. If y'all saw my internship video, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do it <laughs> with a little bitty baby, but it will get done um, because I know that God called me here. I know I'm supposed to be here and I know that he will make a way and I'm believing in him for that. So I know that an opportunity will come up that fits my family, fits my job, fits my child. And so, yeah. So after all that, it's about time to get back to work. So I'm going to finish out the rest of the day. So after work, I just cannot sit at that desk any longer because I have been sitting at it on and off for eight hours throughout the day. So I like to change my environment up and I go in our room to do so. The pregnancy pillow is super helpful because I can prop things up on it. So I'm just gonna catch up on some reading for a class and then take a look at our school website just to see what is due for the week for us because I'm in online school. So it's just super important that I check this daily sometimes. That's pretty much how my day goes. Some days look different because on some days I'm actually watching class and then on some days I'm doing the work and then on some days I'm preparing to do the work. So I split that into like three days a week for both of my classes. But yeah, um, it's manageable, it's doable, but that's what life looks like right now, working full time, serving in ministry and <laughs> being in school while expecting so but yeah I mean school is amazing I would never sacrifice it I'm still so grateful to be here I will say when I first got here and I first started making vlogs I felt more of a shock being in this environment and learning so many things that I had never heard before and I'm like looking around like have y'all heard this before and it kind of felt like other people had and so I was dealing with like a little bit of like am I behind you know um am I have I been undereducated but some of these people have been to bible schools before and also some of them like it looks like they know but they may not know either. So just assume that. Don't even worry about what anybody else knows, okay? Just focus on yourself. So yeah, that was the big thing, just being introduced to a lot of information for the very first time and kind of going through this shock and feeling like, why have I not learned this when I have classified myself as a Christian for as long as I can remember? And there's so many things that just... I had no idea about so many doctrines I've never been taught and a way of looking at scripture that I was never introduced to and so that was a lot um, in the very beginning but something I'm still so grateful for because it really radically changed my life and then now I don't know I feel like I'm still learning and growing it's crazy because when I first got here I was like just use me Lord like I know I want to teach I don't know exactly what, I don't know how, I don't know what setting, but just use me. And I'm still kind of in that space. I still love teaching, but I don't know exactly what format I want it to be in. And this may be my space, which is crazy because I think a lot of people look down on this space and it's not traditional ministry, quote unquote, it's not within the four walls of the church, but I still think it's really, really impactful. And as someone who does speak about the Lord and does teach his word, it still requires you um, to be accountable with your audience and to know what you're talking about and to be well trained. And so this may be my space. This may be my media. We will see. I don't know, especially after the, after the whole like internship. But yeah, I've been prayerful about that. 
another thing that has shifted more recently as you've seen in my last video where well the video before the last one when I was talking about like leaving YouTube just making sure that I spend my time with the Lord because the more and more I go through school the more and more I see myself studying to study for whatever assignment is on hand or whatever and not just doing it out of like the genuine just love of I can't wake up I can't wait to wake up and just read the word I can't wait to just sit before his feet and taking a break from YouTube has definitely helped with that taking a break has helped with a lot because I feel like there was just I don't know there's too many voices sometimes and too many people trying to like mold and shape you when like that's the Lord's doing like that's what he should be doing so yeah taking a step away from all that and not worrying about creating content not worrying about like what other people are creating not worrying about what the trend is like it was definitely helpful and then just being able to sit at the Lord's feet for the purpose of sitting in his feet and not preparing a video but yeah I feel like that's it I'm gonna show you all some more things that I'm involved in and just continue taking you along the journey with me. If there's anything specifically that you're curious about that you want to see, I know there's a lot of confusion about seminary. Like some people wonder like, what kind of degree do you get? What kind of studying is it? Is it just Bible study? And <laughs> it's a master's degree and they have doctoral degrees. And so it's no joke. But yeah, if you're curious about anything, to do with seminary drop your comments below because that will help me to just kind of form the next video for you guys with whatever you're interested in but thank you guys so much for watching i'm about to probably eat again i need to go for another walk <laughs> and get ready for bed so i will see you guys again in my next video the next one we will be doing a bible study together so come hang out next week with me next monday i will see you guys bye